Hey there guys, thanks for clicking on me today. Um, I just bought the Avermedia RC Central or Rec Central um, Live Gamer HD Capture Card and here's the little button that comes along with it. Um, haven't really ever pressed that button yet, but um, I have run into a little issue, not with the card itself, but with the cords. Now, I have a 560 Ti graphics card and um, that does not have an HDMI port. Yes, I know. That's this the stupidest thing in the world, not to have an HDMI port. It does have a mini HDMI port, but I don't have an HDMI to mini HDMI cable. So, I had to use the DVI to HDMI converter that it comes with and plug that into the back of my monitor with the HDMI cord. Now, I have plenty of HDMI cords. The problem is I don't have enough HDMI ports. My monitor does not have one, and my graphics card does not have one, so I have to use converters. So this video is to show you how to hook it up using just converters and DVI, and it's very simple. The one thing I don't have right now is a um, DVI to DVI cord. I do not have the white cord that way, or so right now I cannot capture my desktop. So that's a big letdown, and DVI to DVI cables are like 30 bucks or 24 bucks. Um, uh, the 30 buck one is the converter, the little thing this wide that has the DVI to HDMI. Um, but the actual long cable is expensive. So I'm not going to buy that unless I can find a decent price or just buy it from China, uh, whatever. Um, but I do not have a. I do not have a webcam, or I have a webcam. So I'm going to use that and show you guys what my setup is. I'm going to be a, a little bit farther away from my microphone so you won't be able to hear me. But so far, the only thing you need, um, if you don't have HDMI equipment, is converters. So let me take my headset off. You won't be able to hear me, but you'll be able to see exactly what I have set up in the back now. Okay, here we go. All right, now this is um, just the, the uh, wow, here we go. Okay, so that's the HDMI in and out, and this is the graphics card, it's a 560 Ti, um, pretty shitty. Well, it's 200 bucks and it doesn't have an HDMI port, that's terrible. Um, it does have the mini HDMI port you can see right there and I wish to God that that was HDMI otherwise I wouldn't have to use this converter this is the converter right here the HDMI to uh, uh, DVI to HDMI and um, it's kinda terrible yes this is a hundred and fifty six dollar monitor 20 inch but I, it's still VGA and it, I had to use a converter that came with the 560 Ti all these converters are fucking insane, but the one thing you do need to know, do need to know is that um, if you have a setup like this, the one thing that you just need to make it all work is the white DVI to DVI cable. Um, I'm going to have to buy that, or buy a new monitor, or buy a new graphics card, but the cheapest way is to go for another, another converter just like this. Um, black, and uh, has the HDMI port at the at the back end of it. So that is this, this video was just to show you. Um, if you're having troubles with all the all your cords and the shit, to just get that one. Now they do come with um, a female DVI plug-in, but um, it does not connect to um, a regular DVI converter. You can see that blue, uh, blue and the black that's plugged into each other. I unplugged that, thinking that I could plug in the female, um, female end of the DVI that came with it, to the graphics card, or to the capture card, excuse me, and uh, that's not possible because the female end is um, female end uh, has just a little horizontal slit to it. Doesn't have all four prongs. And this is what I'm talking about right here. 
Let's see if we can see it or not. Okay, you see how that has a little horizontal slit to it? It's a little blurry, I understand that, but see, um, it converts it to HDMI if you have a, a white DVI cable. But the one in the back does not. It has the horizontal, but it also has four prongs. And I'm not too sure what the prongs are for, but they don't slide into each other. So you can't use this if you're using a converter to DVI to VGA. So that's terrible. Um, the one thing they should have done it was just add another HDMI uh, to DVI converter, the black one. Um, that would have fixed everything, but now I gotta go out and spend more money. Surprisingly, after two hundred and twenty some dollars, I know I don't have the greatest setup, but that's what the Avermedia card is for. If you don't have a good enough setup, you buy that card. If you have a great setup, you still buy that card. But my CPU is just terrible. It's it's an AMD A8 accelerated processor. Um, quad core is terrible. Uh, overload CPU almost every single time I run XSplit with like WoW or Magic the Gathering, especially Magic the Gathering. I've had like notices from Norton high. CPU usage, I check it out 100 fucking percent, I'm like, okay, that's fantastic, can't even handle a, uh, a turn-based game, but um, the cable comes, or not the cable, the capture card comes with this, um, in like a fantasy world this would work, but it doesn't have the four little slits to it, so I can't, you can't buy a DVI to VGA and then plug it into this. Um, Hopefully, if I go out and spend 30 bucks on the uh, the DVI to DVI cable, this will be able to plug into it no problem. But I've never seen just the horizontal slip before. I've always seen horizontal with the four prongs. So, um, yep, this that's just the, how to let you guys know. That's what my setup is. It's it's kind of crappy, um, but you know that's the best I can do. <laughs> I, I had to go out and buy a, uh, oh, well, I'm not going to show you, I don't know where the hell it went. I had to buy a hard drive transfer cable from my Xbox 360 to the new one because the old Xbox does not have an HDMI port. Like, the old mother and Xboxes do not have an HDMI port, so I had to use this one, which was another 15 bucks out of my pocket. So... Yeah, the best thing to do if you're going to do live streaming for real, um, the best thing would to go out and buy a lot of HDMI ports. And what I mean by that is monitor needs to have one, your graphics card needs to have one, and then uh, yeah, you're set. Because then you can go HDMI, HDMI. Ten buck cord. It's ten bucks for an HDMI to HDMI cord that's six feet long. I mean, are you kidding me? And now I gotta go out and spend twenty extra dollars on a white cord. So pretty much, if you're using a VGA monitor with no DVI cable, you won't be able to capture your desktop um, without the DVI to DVI because that's just the way it is, and it's not supposed to work like that. And I'm just screwed out of my mind, you know. I put a lot of money into this thing. I'm wearing a $140 headset. I got the uh, Black Widow um, gaming keyboard right there. I got the Cataclysm mouse for World of Warcraft. Just spent $1,000 on all this stuff and still doesn't work. I'm still like 20 bucks away every single time. So, yep, that's just show you guys how to um, do it. Thanks for watching. I know my setup is still jacked up, but uh, anyways, thank you for that.